Alright, so three things I learned from my first crypto event. Those of you guys that don't know me, my name is Juan Valdez, and if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the VFAM. I'm actually super excited to be able to share this, you know, obviously this experience with you guys. So obviously, you guys know that I am huge on, you know, on events and in-person events. When I did my first video going over how I'm getting into crypto and some of the resources that I'm using, and obviously this is actually another one of the resources that I didn't share on that video, but that I am planning on doing more of. When it comes to obviously learning anything new, one of the best resources that I like to learn from personally is, of course, books. You know, any conferences that I can go to just like these or any courses or anything like in that nature. This is actually the first cryptocurrency event. It was held by Dan Fleischman and Brandon Hampton, who are two huge guys in the social media space and also in the crypto space. These guys have actually been around. They've been involved in crypto since about 2014 is the year they said they first got started in it. I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. These guys right here, they're absolute hitters when it comes down to it. So super grateful to be able to be a part of their event. Now, when it comes to crypto, obviously there's so much to learn in many different areas. And I have basically three main takeaways that I got you know, from the event that I thought, figured I'd share with you guys. So one of the first key takeaways that I got from the event uh, is somewhat of the process you should have when you're thinking about you know, what coins to invest in and some of the research you should be doing. So obviously there's a lot of information when it comes to crypto out there. You guys see on YouTube, Twitter, all these different resources. And you probably already heard, you, know, you should do your research, check out the coins and things like that. But these guys yesterday, and by the way, the guys that were presenting at this event, they're like huge crypto guys like crypto millionaires one of the things that they stressed was the research you should be doing on these coins and how you should do that research right so obviously people say look at the white paper of the coin and you know what they're standing behind and what their mission is specifically these guys they recommended that you not only look into behind the coin and what they're standing behind but you also look into the founder of these coins and look up to see like what they have done before what kind of experience do they have with other businesses what other projects have they worked behind and what their real vision is with these coins obviously that would be huge to you know to do because because if you're, you're going over and you're looking at a coin that has you know, a founder who's already been successful with another company, another business, or maybe multiple businesses, obviously it makes it a lot easier to trust you know, the vision and the mission that coin has. For me personally, I thought that was a huge takeaway because again, I'm pretty new into the crypto space, so I'm just starting to learn about you know, how to invest in these different coins, what to look for, things like that. So obviously, you know, knowing that the research I should be doing should be more in depth than just looking at, you know, the white paper, the evaluation, you know, what kind of funding they're getting. Those are the basic things that I was personally looking into, you know, researching when I was thinking about what kind of coins I should be investing in. The second takeaway that I personally had was when you invest, you should be sticking to your fundamentals and you should continue to do so no matter how much you make. And what I mean by that is, you know, when first getting started, you're going to start learning a little bit of a process to, you know, looking at what coins to invest in. For example, like we just went over, you know, looking into the background of the, the founder of these coins looking into obviously the the white papers as part of it looking into their funding and looking at you know their history how the coin has done in previously previous weeks months whatever the case may be you're gonna have a process that you're gonna start having in place for your first few coins and basically what they suggested is once you you know start to realize like what your process kind of is and after you find that process then you're actually able to get results with that process let's say an example they used was after you make whatever certain amount you know that process that you have in place you want to continue using those same fundamentals no matter if you're going ahead and when you're taking a jump to make either an extra 100k or if you're going to make a million cryptocurrencies or swing trading whatever the case may be whatever fundamental you use to make your first few dollars is the same fundamentals you should be using to make you know whatever you're going to end up making maybe you guys are going to make you know the next couple hundred thousand in crypto or your next trade is going to be like a million dollar trade whatever the case may be they recommend it to keep those same fundamentals because the same fundamentals that they're using today that made them all their you know all their money within the crypto space is the same fundamentals they use when they first got started because usually there's a lot of these different coins they're doing all these different things but again usually the ones that are solving some of the biggest problems will probably be some of the again i'm not no type of uh, expert or giving any kind of advice but we want to look for the ones that are solving real world problems that was something that was stressed you know all over the event by multiple people but the last takeaway i had was finding projects in the space that you're passionate about. And the reason why for me, you know, I really got value from, you know, this when they presented this was because, you know, it makes a lot of sense when it comes to, you know, investing, trading. I have you no know, history in trading or investing, but based on the things I've seen, 
you're going to be going through all these different things when it comes to you know investing. You're going to go through times where you're going to be up 50% or you could be going through a day where you're down you know, 80%. One of the reasons they recommended why it's a good idea to invest in projects that you, you know, you're passionate about or you have interest in is because it's hard to stay strong with an investment when you're down a few days and you're like 80% down on your investment. It's not easy to just stick through it and think about you know, the upside. Like later on, this could potentially blow up and I could you know, 10x my return, right? It's a lot harder to do it when you're not standing behind what you're invested in now. If what you're invested in is something that you stand behind and you believe and you're somewhat passionate about, it makes it a lot easier because again, crypto in this space, it's just getting started. It's something that's gonna be more long-term. Some of the coins that I'm planning on investing in now at least, I'm planning on again having that product, that research process down and also looking for coins that I have somewhat interest in that way in case I go through, ex example, a day where I'm down 80% or even 100% on my investment, you know, I can, I can stick with it and I know that there's a potential upside. If I see a coin that I'm, I have no attachment to, no interest in, my first reaction is probably gonna be to sell it. Obviously, that isn't the best decision. If you're doing the opposite and you're investing into coins that you know, obviously have somewhat interest to you and you're somewhat passionate about, it makes it a lot easier to stick through through all the down times and obviously on the up times. So, uh, those are my three biggest takeaways that I had from the event. If you guys got any value from this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up for the boy. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think based on you know the, the key points that I share with you guys. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the VFAM, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.